so today I thought I'd film a video about drinking culture and like university culture in the UK. Um, if you've just watched my like university term update, I'm wearing the same top but I wasn't as, I was quite zoomed in that video and I really wanted to show like what it says. It says, when in doubt use pink, which is very me. Um, but yeah, also I've tried to like cover up my lipstick mess from the last video but like it looks a bit weird so apologies for that. Um, so yeah, I thought, I haven't really got a plan for this video, I thought I'd just talk about my experiences of drinking at uni and sort of like my experience of it personally because I know a lot of people worry about this aspect of university when they decide to go. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So before I started university, I wasn't really a big drinker. Um, I guess I started drinking probably around the age of 16. Um, if you don't know the laws in the UK, they basically state that you can drink on private property from the age of five, like with adults around obviously. Um, and when you're 16, you are allowed to have a drink in public if it's with a male and you're with someone who's over 18. Um, and then you can legally buy um, and sort of drink in public when you are 18. So I guess the first time I got sort of, I mean I tried like out different types of alcohol when I was like younger, like my mum would give us a little sip or something like that. but. I guess the first time I properly got drunk was when I was like 16 at my after prom party. <laughs> um, it was the first sort of house party someone hosted, it was obviously after our prom in year 11 and yeah we all went to someone's house, had loads of cheap alcohol, got really drunk. Um, it was I think it was a lot of people's first time of being drunk. <laughs> so yeah I saw a lot of different sides of people um, and yeah so that was really the first time I got drunk, first time I had a hangover, it was not fun. Um, so yeah, and then obviously I went off to college and I feel like college sort of sixth form is, is the time a lot of people have house parties, um, obviously because you're kind of, you're almost 18 but you can't go out drinking yet. Um, so yeah, first year of college definitely there was so many house parties going on. Um, so yeah, again I was experimenting with different alcohol and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, sort of we'd have like music going and yeah, it was just sort of an excuse to get drunk really for no reason. Um, and then sort of second year of college my friendship groups kind of changed so I didn't really go to those house parties anymore and I didn't really drink much in my second year of um, college even though that was the time I was probably most legal to drink. And then I went, on my first went clubbing when I think it was the last day of our like college term like before exams began. Uh, me and a few of my friends from my English class at the time went out clubbing in Guildford. Um, so yeah. Although that time I went clubbing, I didn't actually get that drunk because I was a bit sort of nervous, but yeah, anyway. Then I went on my girl's trip to Zanti. I have vlogged that trip, so if you want to see that, I'll link it down below. And I got very drunk in Zanti a couple of times, <laughs> even though I wasn't well at the time, so it wasn't a good idea, but anyway. And then went off to uni, and then obviously I had freshers week, so we were drinking quite a lot. We were out, I think everyone, most people, I went out. I guess, I'd say I probably went out four out of the seven nights of Freshers Week. Um, so three of those times we went clubbing and the other time we went to Spoons, um, or Weather Spoons if you're not aware of what that is. Um, yeah, and then sort of the first term of uni we would probably out drinking heavily probably three or four times, two or three times a week. Um, so yeah, like <laughs> that took a massive toll on my body. Like it was weird. In my first term of uni I definitely lost a lot of weight. but. But I purely think it's because I was sleeping in so late after drinking. And then we'd obviously go out and drink. Then when you're clubbing, you're like sweating and stuff. So that's probably where I lost most of my weight, just through clubbing. Um, but yeah, so going back to Freshers Week. So obviously I drunk before, I've been drunk before. But I've never been someone that kind of craves going out. I don't know, like, I like the taste of alcohol. But if I had to go tea total, it probably wouldn't really bother me that much. Like, I'm not someone who really, like, needs alcohol or anything like that. Um... So yeah, I went to Freshers Week and I feel like everyone was actually quite respectful of who drank and who didn't. Um, on my first night of Freshers, I only really drank cider because I didn't really want to get like too drunk. Because obviously it was like first impressions of everything. So we actually didn't go out on the first night of Freshers. We actually all still, I feel like everyone from the building came into our kitchen and we were just like sat around and we were talking and stuff. So yeah, I was sort of just drinking ciders because it's quite a chill drink. Um, some people were drinking more strong spirits and stuff like that, but... Like, I don't really care what people drink, like, as long as they're sort of being responsible. Um, and then, then the second night we went out, we started doing shots and stuff, and for me, sort of, 
when I get drunk is when I either do shots or mix my drinks. That's when I feel like the most horrendous the next morning is when I'm mixing drinks or doing shots or drinking wine. So I feel like now that I've sort of gone through my phase of drinking quite heavily, I know my limits a lot more. Um, so, so yeah, like I I kind of avoid shots now and sort of really strong alcohol. Like I still have vodka lemonades, but obviously they're not as strong as just drinking pure vodka shots. So yeah, um, so I feel like at uni I have a lot of friends who do drink and a lot of them that don't. So I feel like if you're worried about going to university and thinking, oh my god, I don't drink, like, what will people think of me? Like, I would honestly, like, try not to worry about it because there will be people that don't drink and the people that don't drink are respected as much as people that do drink. Like, I think if you, as long as you make an effort with everyone and kind of just speak to the people, speak to everyone you meet kind of thing, you'll find people, um, I feel like, sort of, na I feel like at the start of university, everyone is so, like, close friends, like, your whole flat be really close, like, oh my god, these are, like, going to be my best friends forever, but, sort of, as time goes on, you get to know people more, and your friendship groups kind of change, um, and sort of, it kind of depends what you're into, like, I feel like in my flat, it's kind of a, a bit of a divide between people who like going clubbing and people who don't, I'm sort of one of those in the middle, like, I I'm quite happy to go out clubbing, but I'm also happy to go to Weatherspoons, just stay in, or, I'm quite easy going, um, but yeah, like, I felt it's so weird. I've the past couple of months I've been going to bed and like thinking of what I would say in this video, but now I can't think of what to say. Um, but yeah, I feel like my I thought university would be a lot worse for drinking culture, people trying to pressure you to drink. But my whole time I've been at university, I have not felt the pressure to drink. Um, I personally just tried different alcohol just because I'm curious of like what it tastes like, and the effects on me, and stuff like that. Um, but now I feel like I've sort of tried a lot of different ones and done sort of the whole clubbing scene. I feel like I've experienced it, like I will do it again, but I don't crave it as much. Like when I went to university, university I was definitely like, yeah, I want to go out clubbing all the time. But now I'm just like, eh, it's okay kind of thing. But like, it's not the end of the world because I feel like a lot of people feel like, right, since you're 18, you've got to go out clubbing. But I wasn't like that. I didn't go clubbing till like May and my birthday's in February because I just didn't feel ready for it and my sort of mental headspace was not good. <laughs> around my 18th birthday so yeah um I just kind of want to make this video to sort of share my experiences of drinking culture at uni um and sort of help people out who may be worried about it because like if you at the end of the day if you don't want to drink don't drink like please don't force yourself to drink because it's just no point really like, no one's going to think any less of you, and if they do, then, like, tell them to get in the bin, because, like, it's just, it's like a drink at the end of the day, like, it really doesn't matter if you do or don't drink, um, obviously everyone has the different reasons for drinking or not drinking, um, and I think it does depend on who you surround yourself with, like, the people I surrounded myself with at the start of university were people who do like to have drinks and stuff, so I think that's sort of, so I guess subconsciously I was kind of getting pressured, but, like, not in a negative way, it was just more like kind of compliance I guess um so yeah I was drinking quite a lot and going clubbing a lot at the start of uni but now my sort of closer friends like sort of my two kind of close friends don't really drink at all so I sort of as a result drink a lot less um which sort of doesn't really bother me like if they I feel like if they sort of drink I'd sort of drink the same amount as I do now um but yeah <laughs> I'm not sure this video really made any sense but yeah I feel like sort of university the first your first term fresh to be you're going to be doing a lot of drinking or or people around you will be doing a lot of drinking but sort of as time goes on people change and sort of the kind of big hype around freshers and sort of the excitement of going clubbing all the time kind of wears off and yeah if you don't want to drink don't do it like you shouldn't feel forced to and if you ever feel uncomfortable just literally just say like i don't want to drink like and it's absolutely fine um, and I'm sure there's a lot of like support at universities if you are feeling uncomfortable with the people you're living with, if they drink a lot. Um, and yeah, like for me personally, I don't feel like I need to have a drink to have a good time. Um, like I like going out during the day and going out for weekends away, sort of exploring new places, like that's my kind of thing. And if that involves a cheeky cocktail, then I'll we'll have it, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, like sort of now, I think now that I'm sort of, 19 kind of thing like because I know I feel like there's a big sort of difference in generations of drinking like my mum like for example she will have a couple of glasses of like wine or gin and tonics like sort of 
like most nights but for me I don't drink every day I only really drink socially like I've never really drink on my own unless I don't feel the, like I don't really crave alcohol um but I feel like if it's there like and if people are other people are drinking I probably will too because that's just kind of human nature I guess you just kind of go along with what your friends are doing um and yeah I feel like I was going to say so much more but I literally can't think of what I was going to say but um yeah I feel like drinking culture is a lot different to what because my brother went to university as well not the same one as me but he went to university and he went out a lot more than me and he still does go out drinking more than I do which is completely fine but um yeah I just feel like drinking is different for everyone and you should never feel under pressure to drink like I know I've said that quite a lot but you should really shouldn't or do drugs or anything like that like just speak up if you don't feel comfortable or just remove yourself from the situation like it's really not the end of the world if you don't drink or do drink um and yeah like you can do you can have so much more fun with alcohol or without it um but yeah sort of me personally i feel like university has been not too bad with like peer pressure wise um like as i said i've never felt uncomfortable when i'm not drinking and other people are drinking or vice versa because i feel like as you grow up you don't really feel like peer pressure as before kind of thing like when i went to my first sort of um, like house party where people were drinking I felt pressured then to drink because everyone else was but sort of now I've grown up like I just sort of do my own thing if I want to drink I will if I don't I won't kind of thing um and yeah so if you've got any questions about drink or anything like that um oh I'll say so usually when I do drink um if I'm going out clubbing I usually have vodka lemonade because like I just like the taste of it um, I like cocktails with vodka in as well, like, that kind of seems to be my spirit, like I like peach naps and stuff and I really love Prosecco, Prosecco is my favourite drink definitely, um, but yeah I don't really like, um, I don't really like pure alcohol if you see what I mean, like I hate beer, I don't like wine, uh, obviously Prosecco is wine but it's like fizzy so you can't really taste the sort of bitter or aftertaste of alcohol, um, so yeah, like, I've, obviously I've tried Jaeger Bombs tequila and stuff like that but like I oh, definitely wouldn't choose to drink it now. Like now I've tried, I'm just like, oh no, not again. Um, and also in Zandia, I got really sick through Sambuca shots or was it Uzo? I don't know what it was, but we had some sort of shots, and I was so ill the next day. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I've definitely learnt through my years of drinking. God, that sounds so bad, but um, yeah, I've definitely learnt through my experiences drinking, like what agrees with me and what doesn't, and sort of now I know what to stay clear of and sort of my limits. Um, but. Yeah, I guess that's kind of my little video on